Welcome to my channel. I'm Matt. I like to make things. Things like this. I show these things I make to my friends and family and they say you could sell this stuff. As it happens, a few months ago I made a YouTube video on different leather finishing products to age an unstained bag I made for my wife. It got a few thousand views and people even subscribed to my channel even though I only had one video. I watch a lot of YouTube myself, in fact it's how I learned how to make most of these things. One channel I watch, this guy makes axes and then he says you can buy these from a website. Brilliant, I thought, why don't I do that? I figured that if my first video got 4,000 views, if even a few percent of them went to my website, I might even sell something. Now I make things on the weekends and spend countless hours at work during the week, dreaming up all the things I'll make next weekend. I won't say I hate my job, but it does get in the way of making, which is what I really love to do. I've called this episode becoming a YouTuber and how to make a drill powered lathe. The dream is that one day I can make enough money from making to not have to go to work quite so much. Anyway, to my first project. One of the things I plan to sell is this planting trowel. I've made a few of them already but I've bought the hardwood handles from the hardware shop and they cost around $45. I get a couple of handles from each what was probably a shovel handle but it makes raw materials quite expensive and after all a business is meant to be profitable. So to make handles I needed a lathe. Lathes are quite expensive and I'm trying not to invest too much up front so I searched YouTube and found how to make a drill powered lathe. I watched one minute workbenches video among others and this seemed to be the best. I followed the links to his website and I purchased the plans for $5. It's a little bit more in Australian but it's still pretty cheap. In his video, One Minute Workbench claims that they can build this lathe for about 30 US dollars. That's about 40 Australian. This is not going to be an instructional video because that's already on One Minute Workbench. This is just a snippet of how I went about following his instructions that I bought from his website. A review of the process and the final product. And can you really turn wood on a $40 homemade lathe? Here's another thing I've made to carry my AirPods. I use my AirPods Pros hearing protection when I'm using the power tools I think they're as good and then you've got the benefit of having Siri in your ears for things like hard maths questions to rip the ply exactly where I need it I've just added a temporary fence straight to the side of the table to get the measurement exactly right I added this strip of aluminium I'm going to use this again later to make the tool rest so I just taped it on temporarily After I got the fence sorted, I got my wife to help me bring in the full sheet of ply to see if it would have enough room to feed out after the cut. Turns out it didn't, so I thought I'd just move the bench down further towards the door, give it a bit more space. I figured the only way this is going to work is if I cut down the sheet first before I try to rip it. I cut it a bit oversized so that I could tidy up the ends on the power saw a bit later. Once it was at a manageable size and we had our temporary fence in place, we could finally make the first official cut. So now I've got this piece and I need to cut it into these two pieces. So I flipped up the mitre saw. Bet you didn't see that coming. Then back to the table saw and using the movable guide I ripped down the remaining cut list of the component parts. By lunchtime on day one I had all the parts done and my battery was dead. Over lunch while I charged up my phone ready to do more filming I borrowed the bearings from a skateboard. Skateboards have 22mm bearings. The instruction book said to get four snobits but in Australia you can't buy a 22 bit four snobit. Luckily I had these hole saws.
The plans do have the instructions on how to make wooden knobs, but I found these when I was at the hardware shop and I thought that'd save a bit of time, probably give a neater finish. The other thing I bought was a 100mm hose clamp to hold the drill down. And a few extra T-nuts, the instruction says you'll need more than one. I just wanted to stop here and show those that were thinking, mm, look at his crappy homemade table saw. Actually, it doesn't do a bad job. I'm up to the bit where it shows you how to make the homemade wooden handles, but as I said, I already bought some before, so I proceeded to the glue up. This is the tool rest. I forgot to film it unfortunately and I did end up remaking this at the end of the project. This was the end of day one. My wife was calling me in for dinner. Episode two I'm going to try and get up on the same day. Click to watch it now. Please like and subscribe and if you've got any questions ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.